Okay, so I have a, um, a demo here of something I've been working on. It's a, um, so I have a, a basketball scoreboard, scoreboard controller. It's, um, yeah, I'll show you the hardware here. So this is right here. This is Fairplay MP69D. It's the model number. And this is what the uh, Cornell uses this at basketball games to control the um, stadium display, to put up score, um, clock, foul information. And so what I've done is um, basically this just sends out, you can see in the back here, sends out via quarter inch cable, just an electronic data signal that normally goes up to the big scoreboard in a stadium. But what I've done is I've worked. I've been working on decoding the signals, the data stream coming out of the back of this box, um, to to convert it to meaningful data that I can use in an app application of my own. And um, so what I what I have done here is I run the raw data signal from the box, um, I and I run it right into an Arduino. So that's just a raw electric signal, electronic signal coming out of the box, coming straight into the Arduino, Arduino Uno. Um, and the Arduino is running a um, pretty, pretty basic uh, interrupt routine, external interrupt routine, which basically just, basically just clocks in the bit data coming from the scoreboard controller. And all the details of this, um, I'll, I'll post it. Um, and so what it does then, the Arduino just decodes the bit data, converts it to meaningful score statistic data and sends out a string over t over serial USB serial what I have right now is a simple Python see focus a simple py Python script running on my laptop which is re which is basically receives serial data the serial data from the Arduino and just puts it up in the graphics graphic display so you can see what I'll demonstrate here is let's see so you can see on the screen there, score, clock, foul information. So if I go over here and change the home score to 20 and, clock and set it, you can see it automatically updates over there. And of course, you can see the clock there counting down, ticking down. If I stop the clock, automatically updates over there. I start it again, automatically updates in real time. So then I'll just demonstrate. So if we do visitor score, say 55, automatically see it over there. Let's change the home fouls to 41. Home fouls immediately updates. Let's do visitor fouls 56. There we go, immediately updates. And we can change the period to one. There we go, immediately updates. And of course you can still see the clock just ticking down there. Um, yeah, so that's uh, what, I've, what I've done with this. Um, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty, it's not that complicated, but uh, I think it'd be pretty useful. It's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's it.